crude blocking but I don't have my jack stands here so that'll do I let some weight off the van onto the blocks by looking this first brake pad is just about worn out I've unscrewed the two pins one two here There's the first pad, there's nothing left, and it's starting to wear metal on metal. Let's have a look at the back pad here. It's just a sliver left, paper thin. Any more and it would have started really gouging out the uh, the rotors. I'm just cleaning everywhere where the, the pads sit. Okay, there's the pins. It's important that they have grease in there so they can slide properly. So I'm going to clean them with a rag. And there's the grease uh, for the pins. Usually when you buy new uh, calipers, they come with a little package, but I have to buy that separately. There's two pins. So I'll clean them and put some grease in them. I'm just pushing as much grease as I can into the uh, into the slide pins. Okay, I put some caliper grease on the pin. You can see it there. Slide it in. Just turn it a little bit. You can have some excess coming out, but that's okay. You can just wipe that off later. There, this one is greased. Now I got one to go there, and then the other two on the other side. Just wipe that off. I got my C-clamp ready. I'm going to uh, push back in the caliper. What I'm going to do is I'm going to loosen up the the brake fluid here, so because when I start pushing on it, something's going to come out. I'm going to start. back to make room for the new pads. in there just like that a little bit of wiggling can get them in there make sure that the the pads are in just 
perfect there. fiddle with these pins a bit. Just tighten it up just a little bit here. Okay. Now I'm going to try to line up the Somehow the Okay, that's that one's in there. Have to give it a little tap. Well, I've started doing the other side now. Just got to uh, do the same thing as the passenger side of the vehicle. By pushing the calipers in, you see how that uh, brake fluid has rose, but it didn't go over. So now I'm going to put the cap on it. And before you put the uh, vehicle back on the road, you got to start it up and you got to push the. Um, you got to push the brake uh, fluid back into the calipers properly otherwise you, when you first start off you won't have no brakes so that's what I'm going to do. I'm going to start it up and pump it up a few times. See, it goes right to the floor, and then you pump it up a few more times. There, it gets hard now because you're pushing the uh, the brake uh, fluid back into the calipers properly now. <laughs> 